so let's run preset 2 that fades out our badger and preset 3 is our blackout let's do the same thing and make that fade out over 2 so again edit preset layer 1 we want that to fade to 0 over 2 we want the same thing for layer 2 layer 3 and layer 4 now you can also you can see that in this blackout here there is lots of information contained from when we snapshot the layer we'll see what happens with that in a, in a second okay so we're in badger clouds and if we now click on blackout we don't have to have gone through preset 2 we can just go straight to blackout because the information for 4 it it gets told to go to 0 in the blackout queue if we now bring up the meerkat let's, a, let's just assume for now that the uh, the meerkat's going to snap in and uh, it looks like things have rooted to the correct mix so that's good but if we hit the blackout preset now it changes to what we had before and fades out and that's because when we snapshotted the blackout layer or the blackout preset rather we had all the information from badger clouds so what we'll do is we'll go into our edit preset and the easiest thing to do is to clear it to off and then set an intensity fade to 0 over 2 seconds do the same for layer 2 clear to off intensity fade to 0 over 2 seconds layer 3 clear to off intensity fade to 0 over 2 seconds and guess what same with layer 4 clear that to off set the intensity fade to 0 over 2 seconds let's hit OK to that so now if we're in our meerkat preset and we hit blackout that will fade out same thing as if we're in our badger clouds preset and hit blackout so what we've made is a fairly multi-purpose blackout preset so here we have our four cues in our show let's go and put them in a queue list within catalyst so we hit s to go back into our desktop view and in our library window here we click on the preset tab and you'll see there's our presets that we've made so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in our badger, pre our badger clouds I'm then going to have our badger out I'm then going to put in the blackout and I'm going to put in the meerkat and then I'm going to put the blackout back in so I'm using the blackout preset twice there's a few options to set on our Qlist window first of all I'm going to use this not in a sequence but I want to use it in a traditional theatre environment so I want to be able to hit go so I'm going to come into the uh, the options window for Qlist so I'm going to give this Qlist a name I'm going to call it demo show I'm going to call it Qlist number one and the clock source I'm going to set to being an internal relative um, I'm also going to set the stop to clock the stop clock after last queue and when scrolling hold current queue at top that's always quite handy as well I'm going to OK that and yes we're going to change them to relative time so OK so I'm going to put a pause on each of these queues here and I'm going to put a name that's our badges maybe this is something like queue 
two, badger out. This might be something like blackout. And this might be something like Q3 meerkats. And then this might be something like Q4 blackout. In full screen with our queue list here, and I've done this in the edit suite. Um, so if we look at what our queue list is now controlling, so if I run the badges queue, the badges fade up, and we can see also over in the the libraries window, we see last preset was triggered by the queue list and it was preset one which is called badger clouds if i was to click on say blackout we would see that the last preset was from the mouse it was preset three and it was called blackout but we were in badger clouds so if i run the next queue which is uh, badger out That then runs our, I press the spacebar again, we then get our blackout, and we then get our meerkats, and then we get our blackout again. And so now we've created a very simple show. So we now need to close, uh, save our our queue list before we close. So we go to show control and save. And because well, I'm so running a demonstration, only ever saves your queue list. All the other information, presets, etc., are stored when you exit. Or you can go to the Catalyst drop down menu and go save all preferences now. So preferences are saved on exit. Presets I think save each time you edit them or each time they're edited or created and preferences are saved upon exit or when you do the save all preferences but queue lists you must go in and do save queue lists and this is simply because you might be working with a show where you're not using queue lists at all. You might be controlling Catalyst from another source.